Good morning, students. In this video, we are going to deal with what type of keywords are coming in examination. With respect to mains question, we need to identify what type of keywords that are coming in the examination. If we see our previous year question, let us take this year's Let us see, what do you mean by keywords here? Here you can see this, critically examine. Do you see the term? Critically examine. So they will give the statement, and at the same time, they are giving one particular phrase that is going to decide the structure of the question. That is going to decide the structure of the question. It completely varies. Topic may be same. For example, here, the battle of Plassey. When it comes to the battle of Plassey, the topic is Plassey. The topic is Plassey. For every history optional student, battle of Plassey is very important topic and also very easy topic. Every student are, is comfortable in writing the answer with respect to battle of Plassey. But the same topic can be complicated by giving extra additional adjectives or additional phrases or simply here we are giving the term keywords. If the question says, discuss about battle of Plassey, one structure comes. Then critically analyze one type of structure will come. So it all differs even though the topic is same, but the structure is going to vary based on this kind of keyword. And here in this, <coughs> this is 2022 question paper. All the five questions in the paper, in the section A of question one, all these five questions should, you should give critically examine the following statements in about 150 words each. All five questions, the keyword is critically examine. When it comes to the second part, now there are certain sentences are direct quotation marks, no keyword as such. <clears throat> In certain words, now we can see here, explain. Explain. Similarly, discuss. Can you explain? Next, do you think? So these are the keywords that we need to remember when it comes to the answer writing. Same is the case here also. In some of the cases, you will find the keyword like analyze, again discuss, and next one. Same is the case with uh, section B also. Here also the question number five is giving critically examine. Critically examine. Next come to this after five questions. Next, do you agree? elucidate. This is another particular keyword. Now you can see within a single year how many keywords are coming from the question paper. But more or less almost all keywords are synonym but only with respect to critically examine, critically analyze, critically assess. Only the term critical is only critical here. Otherwise most of the other key phrases are nothing to worry about much. Here I am showing you what type of keywords are coming in the examination. Analyze. So you have seen in this question paper itself certain keywords like discuss, so keywords like discuss, analyze, then elucidate, then examine, 
UPSC can add additional term for any of these. So critically examine, critically analyze, critically discuss. So they can simply add critically. That is the only complicated issue with respect to the main answer. Otherwise, most of these more or less they are synonyms to each other. Nothing to worry much. If you have good content, good sources and good evidence for the answer, you are going to write good answer. Now, in this video, we are going to see how many such kind of keywords are given in the last 40 years. This is the major aspect of this particular class. Let us see. Here I have taken out the all since 1979, since 1979 up to 2022, all the questions are here. Now I have divided all these questions based on the keywords. There are different type of keywords. Now if we see the analysis here, these are the keywords. Now if I go by the alphabetical order, how many types of keywords are coming from the examination means you can see here. Here, do you see? This county is since 1979 till 2022. So from 79 to 22, how many times this keyword appeared in the examination? This is the count here. Now you can see here account questions will come like how the the question will come and they may ask that they will add account now analyze analyze now here two terms sometimes yes came sometimes jet came so if you add include both now it means more than 30 so total 33 times 33 times out of 40 years 33 times means almost every year one question coming with respect to this particular keyword. Then assess, then comment, describe, discuss, elaborate. So now you see these are the various key terms and we will see some sample questions also, how questions are coming with respect to this. Now go to here, elaborate, elucidate, estimate, evaluate, examine, explain, highlight, identify, justify and there are certain things which can be which do not have this type of keyword but there are other type of keywords let me see here here you can see do you agree there are some questions with particular this term like do you agree with the view then how with what why so likewise there are different type of keywords in the examination hall based on this keyword you are going to write the questions now let us see here for example the moment we see how questions are coming with respect to analyze now this is how questions are coming Let us see this. If I zoom it, this 
this is how questions do appear with respect to the key term account now account for the rise of maratha power in 18th century so now you see on every aspect you will see if we come here give a brief account of early medieval temple architecture um, of kashmir give a brief account of resistance offered by a home state against mughal on the basis of account of europeans bring out the agrarian crisis of 17th century give an account of polity and society of vijayanagara empire under krishna devaraya so simply they are asking about explain what type of society was there what type of economic system the fundamental these are the going to be when it comes to the elaborate the broad dimensions of entire history it will fall like this if we start with there suppose the geography for example indus valley civilization give an account of the geographical location where indus valley civilization spread now with respect to politico administration political administration give an account of political setup during mauryan time periods same question give an account of political administration during guptas political administration give an account of moguls so theme is same but only phrase is changing but the question uh, answer is going to be all the dimensions with respect to political administration you are going to write whether it is account whether it is discuss elaborate assess all these things now political then when it comes to economy same when it comes to administration then society art and culture so all these things these are the fundamental themes in each theme they can give different type of like account discuss elaborate likewise so this is how almost all these are are going to have the same kind of structure whatever important dimensions are there with respect to that particular time period you are going to write nothing to worry much the only aspect is with respect to critical now let us see in last 40 years how many questions are asked with this particular key term most of the students are almost every student is afraid of this particular term because if question is asking about a critical because we are going to be trained for administration purpose administrator is not supposed to criticize the existing government policies however we can take unbiased view we can highlight if there are any negative elements of the policy we have to highlight this is for criticism or the constructive criticism purpose we need to highlight the negative elements for betterment purpose that is the reason why upsc sometimes ask the question with this particular term critically assess for example there are certain controversial issues with respect to history mohammed bin tughlaq he brought so many reforms innovative reforms and there are failures however there are some lessons to learn from the failures history is all about to learn lessons from our past mistakes in that context if you see such kind of questions can be asked critically examine or critically analyze the experiments made experiments done by mohammed bin tughlaq but however students are need not to worry about this particular term because in the entire question paper very few times they have asked the question now i am going to show you in the last 40 years how many times they have asked now let us see and hardly in each and every year one question may come if you divide all the questions 23 questions in paper 1 if you remove the map part 23 different type of questions and if you take paper 2 28 questions overall will come and you you have to choose five questions only but out of 28 which are appearing in the question paper 
hardly one question may be asked for critical and in some of the years they did not even ask critical with this particular keyword that's why you need not to worry now i will show you the evidence why how many times critical the term appeared in the question paper the term critical word filter come here now you can see out of 668 records are there and 41 times only critically that means in 40 years if you consider every year one question and 40 years 41 questions so only one question on an average only one question is asked with this particular term now if you see since 1980 critically examine critically examine the sources for the study of mauryan dynasty how are they useful in understanding it what does it mean whenever such question comes whenever such question comes already we know the content there are certain resources for reconstruction of mauryan dynasty and at the same time this information there are certain reliable information and some are not reliable for example if you take the megasthenes account whatever he described according to his view is not have reflected what exactly happened in india so critical means that al that element so what he thought might not be the true aspect of the indian society for example he mentioned there is no slavery in india but we have slavery in indian system but at the same time that slavery these different what europeans practiced and what indians practiced so such kind of differences are there in critical examination you have to highlight those differences history is about interpretation if most of the historians accept to particular fact there there is no critical examination but if there are multiple interpretations from one historian to the other historian or from one source to the other source if there are differences in critical examination means you have to highlight those so when it comes to the structure you have to give special attention to those differences while highlighting different dimensions now you see in 1980 critically examine the sources for the study of mauryans now we discuss critically the main aspect of polity and society under pallavas discuss critically main aspect of polity and society under pallavas critically examine the views of balban alauddin kilji tughlaq on the nature of kingship under the delhi sultanate now you see here one observation you have to make already we have certain keywords here discuss is one keyword analyze elucidate examine these are the basic keywords and simply they are asking or simply they are adding the critical now in this example we can see here examine is the already keyword now you can see examine is already one keyword simply they added critically examine now come to this critically examine simply added critical then already critical discuss 
examine, discuss, assess, evaluate. Already existing keywords, evaluate, assess, examine. So same thing, it is going to appear, only the term critical is going to be added. And these kind of questions are also already while you are studying, we already have those critical aspects also. You need not to worry about this particular term at all. Because many students are afraid of this particular term, nothing to worry. It is only to highlight certain differences in the literary evidences or differences in the historical interpretation. Now come to this. Let us go to the latest one. 2022. Now in 2022, for the entire 2022, 2022 means paper 1 is there, paper 2 is also there. Out of paper 1 and paper 2, that means 23 plus 28. 23 plus 28 means 51 questions. Out of 51 questions, only one question is asked with this particular term, critically examine. Critically examine. But here, sometimes they give this particular statement for the 10 marker. 10 marker means 5 10 mark questions, uh, 5 10 marker questions are there. So 5 questions you need to critically examine. And in 2020, you can see here, 2 questions are asked, critically analyze whether the success of Mughal is to be credited to their robust Jagirdari Mansabdari system. So only one question here. Now, second one. Critically evaluate Muslim nobility during period. Okay? Two questions. And now come to 2019. Then again, critically analyze. So there is only one question, critically analyze whether the success of Mughals is to be credited. So 2018, only one question. Seventeen. Three questions. Sixteen to fifteen means only one. Fourteen. Three. So likewise, on an average, two, three questions. That is recent trend only. But sometime only one or two questions are only appearing. That's why and most of the time, these questions are also the information you will be already having it. Nothing to worry about this. You prepare systematically, make short notes, and while preparing the short notes itself, you mention what are the other negative elements or the differences in the historical interpretation, and those differences only come under critically examination. Nothing to worry about this particular term. These are the various key terminologies or key phrases which often comes in the examination. So now you see, on an average, if we see in alphabetical order, account, analyze, analyze, assess, comment. Suppose if we see in the last 40 years, which keyword is asked most of the times? Let us go here. Filter it. Justify. Now we can see. Discuss. Most often, this particular keyword is asked most of the times. Discuss is the keyword many times asked in the examination. Next, examine. Next, evaluate. Comment. Assess. When it comes to comment, sometimes what happens? That comment is five questions. Five, fifth question or the first question, simply they mention comment on the following questions. That means five questions will come under this. So that means 36 sometimes in each comment, five sub-questions are also there. That means more number of times they are asking about comment. So if you take, these are the major aspects. Discuss, examine, evaluate, comment, assess, analyze, account. But more or less, 
when it comes to the synonyms of these terms almost everything is same only when it comes to examine examine means you will try to highlight again what are the aspects which are agreed by the historians or the multiple interpretations and what is the what are the aspects which are not agreed by most of the historians and there are certain differences for example when it comes to the aryan theory aryan migration theory or the decline of harappan civilization there are so many multiple theories critically examine means then you have to highlight different type of theories and finally in the end what is most likely the cause of decline of harappan civilization so those terms only when it comes to examine and if they ask specifically about to critically examine then you are going to focus more on those differences critically discuss means you should not forget you should not forget that means simply in simple terms you should not forget in highlighting the different interpretation differences in the interpretation while giving the answer if upsc specifically mentions about critical the term critical remaining part is same whether discuss evaluate comment assess analyze the relevant dimensions relevant points you are going to highlight so this is about different keywords most of the time discuss is the keyword asked and these are the various keywords often comes in the examination upsc can simply give critical the word for the existing keywords and you need not to worry about the term critical while writing answers you highlight the differences in multiple interpretations so this is about the keywords which are coming in the questions from all previous year questions for the last 40 years this is the statistics so this is about in previous year question scores i will highlight how to give different type of how to analyze critical means and how to analyze if there is no the term critical so i will provide the structure and i will give you the worksheet also and there i will give provide you the space in which among how many number of words are required for writing the critical examination and how many words are required if there is no critical term in the question so let us see in the previous year question scores and there i am going to give you what type of questions are coming in the last 40 years in each and every key term thank you thank you very much